Hey my friends, today I want to talk about the shoulders back and down cue, which I've been writing about lately. I think it is an extremely detrimental cue, I think it should not be used. But why is that? Well, let me first explain about the costoclavicular space and the costoclavicular space syndrome. Now, the main thing is that when we pull the clavicle back and down, we may squeeze the brachial plexus, the nervous bundle uh, coming out from the neck, and the subclavian artery and the subclavian vein between the, clav the clavicle and the first rib. Okay, so let me show you why that is. So, uh, let's see if we can get this here. So, the clavicle and the superior angle of the scapula should be situated approximately in level of the T2 vertebra. Now, the scapula should be residing there. The clavicle is clearly in front of the brachial plexus and the first rib. Okay. Now, when we pull this back, okay, then we will pull the, the clavicle down, back and down into the first rib, crushing <laughs> the neurovascular bundle, crushing the brachial plexus, crushing the subclavian artery and vein. Now, of course, that is a big problem because then we have bones, then we have nerves being compressed between bones, okay, and you can end up with some severe problems. You can end up with muscle uh, muscle weakness, okay, so tremendous nerve pain, even damage to the nerves. So of course this is not something that we want to do. So how should the scapula move then? Well, first of all, because this is a cue that has been coming from a simplification of scapular movement. Uh, trainers and, uh, and so on, they think that they can just pull the scapula back and down and everything will be fine, but it is of course absolute nonsense. The glenoid fossa, the joint socket of the arm, it should follow the humerus movement, okay, the, the arm's movement. So, for example, if I'm working in a sagittal plane, if I'm going forward, the scapula should come forward and follow into uh, a posterior tilt. Okay? If I'm going out, then yes, then the scapula should uh, retract and come up and follow the arm. It should not go back and down, no, because down, the scapula only goes down into downward rotation if we are going to a deduction. Okay, or if you're going down for something like this, uh, back and down, it's not really an, it's not really a natural movement. Perhaps if we are going back and reaching for something in between, you know, to the to contralateral buttocks. But how often do you do that? <laughs> you you do not want to load your arms while you have the shoulders back here. It is very detrimental because you get impingement, okay, and because you crush the neurovascular bundle. Now let me explain a little more about why you will get impingement. Okay, so I said that when you move your arm, the glenoid fossa, the joint socket, you should follow the arm. Now, if I'm pulling the scapula back and down, and I'm moving my arm forward, that will angulate the coracoid process towards the arm, okay? Because when I'm going forward, the scapula should be situated like this. So if I'm pulling it back like this and down into downward rotation, that coracoid, the tip of the coracoid, will point out and down. So when you raise your arm, well, guess what? You jam the humerus into the coracoid process. And that's a big problem, okay? Second, when we go into abduction, okay, we cannot just pull that back and down once again, because when the scapula goes into downward rotation, we will jam the humeral head and the supraspinatus tendon into the acromion. That's a recipe for failure, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, we do not want to pull back and down, we want to have a snug fit uh, of the scapula onto the thorax. The scapula is situated approximately with the angular superior towards the T2 vertebra. Okay? And we want to teach the scapula to move in accordance with the arm. So if I'm going out and up, I get retraction and upwards rotation. Okay? If I'm going in and up, I'm coming into medial rotation, protraction and upwards rotation. It's a little complicated. Isn't that logical? Isn't it logical that we can't just pull back and down? It's a little more complicated than that, guys, okay? So this is a bullshit cue that is just hurting a lot of patients. Stop it. Have a nice day.